defeat the Nukes top five in a minute. Two months ago, apparently. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Ten scary videos, or are you a big baby? I'm not a baby, you a baby. Drop a like. Go drop him a sub. I'm going to share this on the Discord. Please, please, please. Go show him some love. I'm going to try to avoid pausing on this one as much as I can, because there's already trick or treaters showing up. This next creepy footage was captured live on national TV in Argentina. So in Argentina, there's a program called Phenomenos, which is broadcast live and covers notable weather events in Argentina and around the world. The show's co-host, Matias Bertolotti, is doing a normal weather forecast for the upcoming weekend. When this happens. Por eso es el día quizás de estos próximos días, porque se viene la humedad y ahora sí, la esperada lluvia en la zona central que están esperando muchísimo, asociado con las perturbaciones de mal tiempo, va a realzar todo esto. The program switches to a live security camera overlooking the boardwalk of the city of Corrientes, but something pale and translucent can be seen walking across the field and out of frame. The strange figure looks almost like the torso of a person, with arms moving quickly, almost as if whoever or whatever this is it's is like running. Yeah. A shocked viewer is watching the show and oh, shares the footage to his Instagram. It quickly gets a massive amount of attention. By the end of the program, Matias looks at the footage live on air and says that both he and the TV crew have no idea what this is. But they do note that whatever it is, it doesn't seem to have any legs. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es eso que pasa cuando estábamos en vivo? Esto sucedió en vivo. A ver, esto no, no es... No, o sea, no estamos jodiendo. Se los digo en serio, eh. No estamos jodiendo. Esto pasó en vivo cuando estábamos hablando del tiempo y la cámara es de paso de la patria. A ver, ahí viene corriendo. Ay, ¿qué es eso? No tiene patas. The That's cool. End. Jenna That's Snow. cool that it was like a live thing and they actually like checked it out like what the frick is this? At the Continental <laughs> Inn in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. A hotel which Let's be honest right though. Let's assume. Let's assume. For all intents and purposes, that footage is not only real, but genuine in every in every every sense of the word it's genuine. That's a freaking ghost, right? Just like let's just let's just live in this universe where that 100% is a ghost and that's what we just witnessed, okay? Where do we go from here? Like does it does anybody believe this? Is anybody going to like do it like are we ever going to like accept this as a society? It's like, yeah, no, that was a ghost and that's that's like, yo, a definitive proof ghosts exist. Like I don't are we ever going to get to that point? Like even if we Across see the road something from like a this cemetery and we that all is the final resting genuine, place of nearly 19,000 bodies. With a location like that, it's no wonder that the hotel has built up quite a bit of a reputation for the being continental. haunted. Now Jenna is working the front desk at five in the morning when she and one of her co-workers, Tim, spot something very odd on the lobby security camera. They said it's not the hotel that's haunted, it's the graveyard. Oh. So this service road here where Danny and I used to park, that's the old Stony Plain Road. Do you really think they, when they dug up all the bodies here, that was a good one, moved them over to the graveyard? They dug up the bodies and what? She said they dug up the bodies and what? <laughs> the bodies that were here before we moved them and put them somewhere else. Oh yeah, I see it again. Yeah, let's try and sit in the chair. Sometimes he'll stay there for a minute. He is. How do you know this? Well, because Danny and I caught him earlier when Danny was in the games room locking up. I freaked the f uh, see, I've seen this video before from another, like, YouTuber, but Nukes actually puts the full context. I didn't see, I, I, this is all brand new footage for me. Out, because I saw, and then I tried to do a video review to record it, and it wouldn't let me. A faint, pale figure can be seen moving around the hotel lobby and sitting down in one of the chairs, before just disappearing completely. Jenna's co-worker Tim claims that he's seen the bizarre figure many times before and he believes that it has wandered over from the cemetery across the road. But, lost spirit or not, I leave that up to you to decide. Mirror, mirror. I Alina no Zunder is celebrating Mother's Day in her home in Nova Trento, Brazil. She records herself as she enjoys a Brazilian dessert treat and shows the thoughtful present that she received from her son. But then, something happens that shocks her to her core. 
Gente, eu vou comer com vocês o melhor brigadeiro da vida. Ok, eu vi esse one too. Da doceria da Lulu. E olha que bonitinho que eu ganhei. Eu quero muito mais Scary meal. É um filhinho. Mas há sempre um couple que eles dão. Eu não sei ninguém mais. Eles todos têm seus próprios únicos aqui e lá. Eu amo isso. Como eu disse, você sempre tem diferentes fotos com diferentes pessoas. A face, você viu a face? E agora vamos provar. Eu fico assim, viciada nesse brigadeiro dela. É simplesmente o melhor brigadeiro que eu já comi na minha vida. Did you see it? In the reflection in the mirror, a pale face can be seen looking right at Melina. And like Almost his right eye doesn't look right either. Right it doesn't look normal. In front of her. After reviewing her video two days later, Melina is shocked. She posts the video to her TikTok in search of answers. The video goes viral quickly gaining over 3 million views. Many stunned viewers wonder whether there's anything in front of her that could have been reflected in the mirror, like a TV. But Melina shows that in front of where she was sitting at the time, there's actually a backyard, not even a wall. She yeah. also says that her husband and son were inside at the time. See, from the other video that I saw on the same exact situation, I didn't see any of this. Sitting at the time, there's it's actually just a, it's a just backyard, a yard. not even a wall. She also says that her husband and son were inside at the time. So just who or what is this? And did that mirror come with an uninvited guest attached? Crossing over. Take that user Mutalu4256 is driving down a quiet road somewhere in Thailand at around 8 o'clock in the evening. Thailand? Suddenly... Well, just watch. Ghost person on the left. A woman wearing a white dress we appears see this out way of too nowhere, often. forcing the panic driver to swerve around her. When brightening and slowing down the footage, things get even weirder. The eerie apparition seems to only partially appear, and then it just disappears altogether. So could this driver have captured evidence of the paranormal on his dash cam? You decide. I think a part potentially, of tour gone again, wrong. assuming, assuming a realtor like from Lanton, South Carolina is giving a tour of a brand energy. new luxury apartment to an interested couple, or something like that. then a it lot goes of people get run terribly over. wrong. It helps <laughs> So this is the oval. Yeah, that would help me actually. Bro, what the frick? I've seen this one too! Yeah. Is that closet? That's washer dryer hookups. Yeah. Cool. Oh, sorry, I kicked you. Spoiler, because I've already seen this one. I don't know if I want to spoil it, right? But you'll see soon enough. Hobo! Oh, well. so like, there's a person <laughs> in there. There's a person in there? Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. The woman touring the apartment heads alone into the back bedroom and checks out the closet. This one was made two months ago. I'm gonna have to investigate a little, little bit of internet investigation here because it seems like somebody may have copied old Nuke over here. But surprise because there's just some weird dude hiding in there. Understandably, she kind of freaks out and runs out of the room and warns the others. The realtor is shocked. And after checking out the bedroom herself, we she just it. says, um, okay, these are, these are we're gonna go. Footages. She even, like, there's a person And I totally there. understand, there's like, uh, I understand, like, of course, these are all famous footage, everyone's gonna find the same Hello? footage. But, like, uh, so far, it's almost a one-for-one. One. Even the same order of videos, I think. I'm gonna double check. I might be going crazy, though. I don't know. Now, it bears repeating that these are brand new luxury apartments in a guarded community. 
so it seems odd that a squatter could even get in there. But what would you do if you were touring an apartment and a guy just popped out of the closet? What do you mean? We need I, scary I, 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 videos. It's a, it's a, so if you see some, this isn't a this isn't an entity from the back rooms, bro. It's a it's a hobo. He's looking for a freaking place to like sleep because he has you can't pay rent anywhere. You you let the landlord take care of it. They're either gonna kick him out or call the police. It's that simple. Something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five. So but to be fair. If she locked the place up, I, I would ask her, like, what kind of security you actually got here? Like, what the Look frick is this? Nukes top five at I don't know if I would want to live there, knowing that there's security It's three is in the legs. morning in Erie, Pennsylvania, and Jorge Cruz and his family are all fast asleep in bed. Suddenly, their bedroom door slams shut. Now, Jorge is woken up by the sound, but doesn't think much of it and goes back to sleep. But the next day, he begins to wonder what the could hell, have caused the door to slam. He checks their baby monitor footage, and what he finds makes his blood run. And you got a baby monitor? Wait, so you're a full-grown adult. You a daddy. You a papa. And you get woken up in the middle of the night by your door slamming. Nah, son. That, like, it, but where's your instincts at? You better go check up on the baby. There might be somebody in your house, and they just, like, lo like, lo like close your door to, like, keep you trapped in there. You feel me? Cold. Are those footsteps are just Were well, those footsteps are like knocking? Shadow figure! Bro, it's trying to get your baby. Oh, it's messing with the the, the doll. It's, it's messing with the with the plushie! See this is what I'm saying, bro. This way you gotta go check up on the baby! Nah, son! Nah, son, that thing's trying to get your baby! <coughs> Did that startle the Loud baby banging can be heard before the bedroom door slams shut. Then a dark shadow-like figure can be seen creeping up the bottom Luckily, of the, the baby baby's wasn't, crib, like, seemingly but still. watching the child sleep. The dark mass that seems to reach over toward the child, even moving around a stuffed animal. Then it simply disappears it into like thin air. Ray says that he feels the entity might be a dark presence in his home. So did the family capture a paranormal entity on camera? Let me know what you think. Bro, that's, Sick that, of blue. That, that, that a woman and her dog baby, are seriously be, freaked out when they you. notice a chair mysteriously rocking back and forth on her back patio. Look, you guys, it rocks. But then it stops on its own when I come outside. Let's see if I could get it on camera. There's like no wind. That's <gasps> I know, Blue, someone's there, huh? I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. That it dog is like so tough right this now. This is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on camera. Sick on Blue. Get him. Get him, Blue. Baby, right? Katie, I guess I do have a ghost bitch. Get him, Blue. I'm shutting the door. Little Shih Tzu puppy Blue anxiously barks and growls at the chair as it continues to rock back and forth all on its own. Now, unfortunately, the original source of this video was lost through the internet, almost like it was erased entirely. But many oh. curious viewers of the video believe Blue can see or sense something that we can't. The viewers wonder whether the chair belonged to someone who might have passed away. But without a source, whatever happened next remains a mystery. Nah, son, the ghost Peaker. is tired. Just trying to take TikTok a, user Celeste Castro the from the city of Culiacan, Mexico, is home alone at 1 a.m. when she hears strange sounds coming from her living room. Bro, stuck in that chair, you know? You know I'm tired, bro. My feet hurt. <laughs> What's wrong, Cruella DeVille? Hello, ghosties. Any ghosties haunting in here? 
No mames, güey, no mames, está abierta la puta puerta. Well, close it. There might be someone Ay, breaking into your house. Why is there just a car with no, no wheels nadie, on your front lawn? No, no, no hay nadie. Okay, well, we definitely know it's not somebody breaking in, because with a, with a car, and, with a lawn ornament like that, nobody's going to assume you have money. So it's either, it's, it's got to be a ghost. No robber will try to break into your house to steal something. O sea, no, no sé, no sé qué voy a hacer. Starters, lock the aquí, door. aquí voy a dejar el, el celular este grabando aquí. Mm -hmm. yes. A ver si, si capta algo, porque la neta ya, ya me harté de que, de que estén pasando cosas y no sepa qué es. La voy a dejar grabando y me voy a ir al cuarto. You better put a long, a, a pretty big SD card on that thing. How much space are you gonna freaking need? I really thought she had like the Cruella de Vil like split in her hair, but I guess not. Chicken light. Did you catch a ghosty? Yo quiero saber lo que realmente pasó. No mames, no mames, no mames. No mames, no mames. That's not what she's saying. She's not saying no way. Que vergas es eso? Que vergas es eso? A lot of this language is not... Maybe we shouldn't translate it. You know what? Let's keep going. Yeah, we'll just, just listen to Nuke. Nuke knows what he's saying. Sure. Me están... Yeah, no, I'm, I, I'm not gonna translate that. Listen to, listen to Nuke. Nuke, Nuke, just, just pretend Nuke, when Nuke said it's like, what happened, what happened, it's here. Me está dando miedo. Te lo juro que estoy temblando. No, no mames, no mames. No mames, no mames. So there was something the behind that. The last time when she sees something peek out from behind her kitchen refrigerator. Another one that I've seen, I'm telling you, I, I'm convinced That's somebody's... About enough, and she I don't just know who it was, I'll look back there. at my stream, but I think she somebody... She spent the rest of the night at her cousin's house. Literally video for video. To this day, Celeste claims that she has no idea what she captured on her phone that night. She says that nothing weird Copy or out nukes. of the ordinary has happened at her house I'll do my own little then. investigation. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Could be a coincidence, and I know for a fact Nukes is aware that a lot of people do straight up Reddit just user steal Octopus his cousin. Funeral has been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity. That's why Nukes is the one of the greatest, because not only does he freaking show off the video in a great way, but he also freaking gives credit where credit is due. What a freaking G. But he in his home in Philadelphia, he also gives you all the footage. He doesn't like so chopping up too much. He tries to give you all the footage of the video. I love that. I love that in about 1925, him. A man suffered an extreme nervous breakdown and brutally that, ended be the lives of no, his two know. young daughters I'll before like ending his own life. Now, almost a century like later, Reddy like User Octopus Funeral says he used to be a skeptic, but that all changed when he moved into this house. He says that strange unexplained events begin to haunt his family. He says the paranormal encounters became more extreme and aggressive with every passing day in the house. One day, he's in the basement doing laundry, and he feels that something is just kind of off. He takes out his phone and starts to record. What happens next is downright creepy. Like I was saying earlier, um, most of the stuff does happen down here. Um, and I mean, you can't really... There. That's freaky stuff right there, man. <clears throat> Yep, that's what you call. I hate that. It freaks me out, man. It's getting goosebumps. Uh, boy, here we go with the door now. Yeah, I don't like that. Ooh, that's creepy. So that door always swings wide open and it stays open. It doesn't ever close. Stay like that. Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, well, I mean... Oh, crap. That's freaky. 
Reddit user Octopus Funeral says that the paranormal activity in the house freaked him out so much that he and his family eventually just moved out back in 2017. He says that since then, he didn't even want to think about that house. But only recently, he decided to transfer this video from his old phone to share with the paranormal community on Reddit. So is this old house in Philadelphia haunted by the tragic spirits who lost their lives there? You decide. Tick tock. Tick tock user Hevelista says he made the terrible mistake of fooling around with a Ouija board at his home in Germany. And of course, it did not go well. We just freaking saw this one too. If this is the same, if this is the same dude I'm thinking of. Die ist eben einfach aufgegangen. Ich wollte mich gerade schlafen legen. Auf einmal ist die aufgegangen. Die ganzen Tage ist die nicht aufgegangen. Und jetzt gerade hat die sich einfach geöffnet, Digga. Bro, ich kack mir in die Hose was. Nein, never mind. I haven't seen this one before. Irgendwas in diesem Raum ist. Da macht diese Tür auf. By the way, I just checked all the... I just like quickly skimmed through some of the videos that we were watching earlier today. Never mind. Wenn hier irgendein it's, it's basically Geist same footage, ist. but totally not copied. It seems like they're very different. Kannst. I was confused because we Dann watched like three or four today. Auf. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Time to move! Time to get a new house! Why is the thing sideways too? It's being held. Bro, it's being held in place right now. That's not how that thing's supposed to work. That thing is being, that freaking, the, the little thing in the center, that's literally being held in place right now. That is not how it's supposed to work. I had one of these. That is supposed to be sideways and swinging and it's like a, me it's a mechanism. Yeah, that's not, that's not correct. Those pimples! Okay, yeah, this is brand new footage. I haven't seen this one at all. That's awesome. Bro, he should have tried to fix it and see what happened. Bro, say go say goodbye right now. See now it's now it's back to normal. It's swinging as it should. This dude. This dude, he said, yeah, no, forget that, forget the Ouija, forget everything, it's all... He really burns it <laughs> He really freaking burned it The door of an antique clock hanging on the wall opens up by itself, after which the pendulum just drops right out of the clock's frame. TikTok user Hevelista says that's about enough. And the very next day, he burns both the clock and the Ouija board. But this begs the question, what would you do? Would you just burn it all? Let me know. Really I mean, quick, frankly, I just wanted to mention he, he that there really was also should have said goodbye posted. first before burning it. Like you're gonna wanna make sure you like clear like finish the session first. Like you know follow them rules, you know. Last week, and I know I'm posting now a lot sooner than usual, so make sure you didn't miss last week's video. I really do appreciate you. Love it, love it, love it. Freaking phenomenal video. Thanks for hanging out, like or dislike, comment and subscribe, and become a monodachi today! I live stream all day, Monday through Friday, so go say hi! That's all for now, monos, goodbye, and thanks for swinging by, Saru.